So, I'm home. I made it home in one piece. Jesus Christ, that was an absolute fucking mission. Um, I ended up going through six different airports in the end over 48 hours. Um, but yeah, I'm home. I've had literally five hours sleep in about 50 odd hours now. Um, I haven't actually slept in a bed since Tuesday night. And it's now currently Friday night. I'm going to enjoy my sleep tonight, that's for sure. Fucking hell, wow. But there we go, you know, and there's people out there that think I'm a fake fan. Yep, good one to you guys. Anyway, let's move on to the preview for Brighton on Sunday. Yes, I will be there. Um, it's a 12 o'clock Sunday kickoff. Um, absolutely ridiculous how this works out because we played on the Monday night against West Bromwich Albion. Um, we've then flown to Borisov or Minsk and then to Borisov for the, the game against Barte on Thursday. And then some clever dick decided to put us as the 12 o'clock kickoff on Sunday. Um, so yeah, can't criticise Wenger for putting the team out he put out last night. Um, and I thought they did really well. As I said in my, pre, um, my review of the game, I thought there were some standout performers in that. Um, and a couple of players that definitely caught the eye and are definitely pushing for the first team spots now. So... So yeah, I, you know, fair play. You know, you, you can't knock Wenger for for mixing up the whole team, uh, the whole team and the whole squad for that. Um, what we do know is that Alexis Sanchez and the likes of them types of players, Lacazette as well, they didn't travel. Neither did Monreal. Um, neither did Bellerin. So there's no excuses for this lot on Sunday because they've had an extra break. They've had six days off now since Monday. So um, by the time they kick off um, against Brighton. So yeah, here we go. Let's get on with it. Let's not muck about anymore. Um, we've got Brighton. Um, they've started really well this season. Um, promoted from the championship last season. They've come up. Everyone's tipped them to go straight back down. But they're actually only three points behind Arsenal this season. Um, so yeah, they, they, they're doing definitely more than they should be. Uh, they're definitely punching above their weight so far. Um, can't really pick out a standout player from their team. I know they've got a guy out front um, called Hemed. Um, conflicting reports, actually, because I had a look at this guy. Um, I see, I've seen he's scored a couple of goals this season. Um, so, yeah, he's obviously he's obviously their main talisman this season. But I've actually seen a report saying that he's actually suspended until the end of October um, for some investigation or saying. Whether that's true or not, I'm sure one of you guys have put me right in the comments section. Um, so, yeah, that he's their main guy. Um, they've got Tim Crawl in goal as well, the former Newcastle player. Um, so yeah, there's a there's a few faces in there that we recognise. They do try and play good football as well. Um, so they're not going to come and park the bus, I don't think. But with that being said, they're not obviously going to go all guns blazing against us because we will tear them a new arsehole. Um, I'm going to go into my 1-11 to for this game. And um, yeah, appreciate all the love on the last videos as well. <laughs> I've had some funny comments. I haven't had a chance to go through any of the comments of the last video. Um, obviously, I've been touring around the Baltic region of Europe. Um, so yeah, if and when I do get a chance for that, then I will. Um, so appreciate all the love on that. And um, yeah, Peter checking goal. Um, Ospina, I thought done really well last night, but he worries me. He's got a mistake in him. I always look at Ospina and think that his kicking's a little bit suspect. Although last night it was good. Um, but I think that he has one big error in him every game. Um, and Czech, although I don't think Czech's the player he used to be, Czech is still number one goalkeeper at this football club and that ain't going to change. So Czech in goal. Um, I'm going to go with a back four. Um, the reason being is I think we'll dominate possession. Similar to how we, we did against um, West Brom. So, yeah, I'm going with a back four. I'm going with Hector Bellerin. Um, he's looked really impressive in the last couple of games that he's played. He was fantastic against West Brom. He was also fantastic against Chelsea as well. So, yeah, it's about time that he, he's shown up because he has been a bit poor, especially back in the last season and then early start of this season. But, yeah, I'm pleased for him. You know, if, if he gets back to being half decent, then, yeah, who knows what he could do this season. 
So yeah, Hector Bellerin at right back. Left back, I'm going with the tank, the Bosnian beast, the absolute mammoth of a guy. Um, he's just going to bully every right winger in the league this season. So so yeah, he's going at left back. My centre back pairing, um, I understand Koscielny's a major doubt for this um, due to an injury. Um, so my centre back pairing for this, I'm going with Mustafi. Um, and I thought he was poor last night. He was probably our worst player. Um, the amount of times this guy dives into tackles that he don't need to dive into is unbelievable. Just stay on your feet. You talk that as a young kid, stay on your feet, shepherd them down the wing, get them onto their weak foot and make it uncomfortable for them. Um, but he don't do that. He likes to just go flying in two-footed and it is what it is. So yeah, I am going to go with Mustafi. Um, next to him, I'm going to put Rob Holding. Um, if if Koscielny's not playing... Um, I'm going to stick Rob Holding next to Mustafi. They obviously played together last night. I thought Rob Holding was really good last night. He, he got off the mark for Arsenal in terms of goals. Um, and he should have had a second. He, he missed an absolute sitter that hit the post. So, yeah, I thought he um, he looked decent. So, um, yeah, if Koscielny's not playing, I think he's got to get the nod. Um, into midfield. Uh, this is where it gets interesting. Um, there's reports coming out that Ozil's not playing. Um I find it a bit of a mystery that Mesut Ozil's got still another injury. This smacks of last season against Man City and Everton. Um, after that, he had an injury um, and he wasn't seen for a few weeks whilst waltzing off around Turkey and, and Germany with Miss Turkey. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know whether it's true. I don't know whether Arsene Wenger's punishing him for not signing a contract. I don't know whether Mesut Ozil's gone on strike or whatever. I'm not saying one way or the other because obviously I don't know, but everyone can form their own opinion of that. Um, to be honest, I'm far too tired to give a fuck about talking about Mesut Ozil. So, yeah, um, right wing, I'm going to go with um, Reese Nelson. I'm going to put Reese Nelson in my starting eleven. Um, really, really enjoy watching this kid. Um, I've been bigging him up for a few weeks now, at least maybe a couple of months nearly. So, yeah, and it was nice to see him start last night as well. And although it wasn't his best game that he's ever going to have, he did do really well and he was playing at right wing back. So let's see what he can do on the right wing. So Reese Nelson, right wing. Um, midfield, um, Granit Xhaka is not getting in my team. Granit Xhaka is getting dropped. Um, I said this the other day. I think that he's been an absolute fucking liability this season. Um, we know there's a top player in there. I personally think he's a top player. But how many chances do you keep giving someone when they're constantly fucking up, which is resulting in goals every time. So, sorry, mate, you dropped. I'm putting Jack Wilshere in his spot. I thought he was an absolute joy to watch for 45 minutes last night. Um, faded in the second half, but that's understandable. Obviously, we can start Jack. Second half, if we're cruising the game, then we can take him off and rest him up for the next one. Um, so, yeah, Jack Wilshere. Next to him, um, I'm going to put Mohamed Elneny. Again, another one that goes under the radar. I thought that he was also fantastic last night. And in the previous game against Doncaster, I thought he was good. Um, what you get with him is he just mops up. He doesn't do anything flash or fancy. He just sits there and he's got such an engine on him. It'll get up and down, up and down the whole game. Um, so yeah, he's going next to Jack Wilshere. On the left wing, the main man, the best player at the football club, Alexi Sanchez. There's nothing more we need to say about this guy. He is a fucking joy to watch. And if he's on the field, you always have a chance at winning a football match, no matter what team you are playing against. So Alexi Sanchez is left wing. Number 10 position, Aaron Ramsey. I thought that he played really, really well there the other day against West Brom. Um, and I thought it was a really good performance in the Chelsea game as well. He... He is starting to get it, I think. He looks like he wants it this season, whereas in previous seasons, it's just sort of passed him by. Um, one thing I will say about Aaron Ramsey, no matter how much criticism I give him and the others give him, the one thing that you'll get with Aaron Ramsey is even if he is having a shitter and the team is having a shitter, he always wants the ball. So Aaron Ramsey at number 10. Um, so yeah, and then I'm going with Alexander Lacazette up front. The uh, the £50 million guy is coming fresh off the back of a six-day break after smashing two goals against West Bromwich Albion. So I'm expecting him to fully bag another couple, at least maybe even his first hat-trick for the football club. Um, I can't see anything other than an Arsenal win in this game, and I'll be absolutely mortified if that ain't the case. So... Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a decent game. It's a 12 o'clock Sunday. Most of the squad, if not all of the squad, are fresh. Um, so yeah, no excuses. There's no way we can not 
get three points in this game. So with that being said, my score prediction for this game is Arsenal 4, Brighton 0, and I'm going with Alexi Sanchez with the first goal. Let me know what you guys think. Stick your comments down below. Absolutely donkey punch the fuck out of the like button. That always helps me along my way. And if you're new to the channel and you ain't subscribed, subscribe. And if you have subscribed, big up every single one of you. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and get some sleep because I am absolutely fucking shattered. So I will try and reply to as many comments as I can um, tomorrow. In the meantime, laters, peeps.